So, uh, okay, Ms. Scully, um, I've been reading this thing on the internet, this, uh, this thing of uh, five African countries that have fallen into China's debt trap. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, oh, I guess we should do a, we should do a sus hut session here. Let yeah. Me, let me get ready. At least I got my African top on. Yeah. yeah. Get it ready, because, you know, we're trying to create a new character, but I haven't created them yet, but let's just, this is our first session, actually, to do a commentary in the sus hut, so let's, uh, leave the, I'll leave my phone here, I don't need that. Make some other calls, but I took some notes when I was doing that. Um, so let's, uh, let's go on outside, let's go to the sus hut. I'll, I'll, I'll put another element, I got a top. Okay. I'll bring my walking stick, one of my walking sticks. Fine walking stick. Indu. Yeah. What's it called? Induku. Induku. Yeah. A fine Induku. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a, let's, let's go out this way. Let me take some of these. I gotta put this stuff in my garden a little later. So let me just pull this out since I gotta go past there. Cool. And of course, here's a uh, garden that we saw the last time. Watering it. You know, guess what? Last mm -hmm. time, I don't know if you see. See this here? That's a that's a that's a ganja plant. That's a marijuana plant. You know. Oh. Well, luckily for us, just yeah. two days ago, you know, mm -hmm. do you realize what happens in the in the Republic of South Africa? They're going to legalize marijuana. You know, Ooh. for Whatever you could, so right now, starting starting a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. you can actually have be growing a marijuana plant on your property, and you know it's cool, it's decriminalized or whatever it yeah. is. I always wanted decriminalization rather than I wanted a, exactly. a legalization, but uh, whatever we can get. Oh, and, uh, so anyway, so that's that's the thing. But this, I don't know how that came up because I'm just cultivating my garden to get the eggs. Oh. We gotta knock this in later, and like that. And, uh, Anyway, it's a weed, so it just started weed. growing. I'm not gonna weed like weed. other weeds. Yeah, just let it keep on going. Let's go back here. Now remember, we had last time. Last time we had um, some wood in the front. Yeah. But I had to take it. We had to take it to the back mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, we're in Limpete. You know, it's, uh, let's put it this way: it's it's a village, whatever. So people say, "Oh, how about the wood? How about the wood?" I said, no, we're not finished with it yet. But you know, wife, my wife kept on getting bugged about it, so I had to do it. <laughs> anyway. So we have all the wood that we got from Shanks back there. Now what I did, what I didn't put on is, is my ankle braces, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, see what happens. This is almost done. Yeah. We got to put the uh, almost done. We got to put the door on, which is easy. Well, the doors over there someplace. So uh, I think I'll just have a seat right here. You can sit over there. Uh, We'll develop this character as we go along. But I took some notes out of that, that, um, that, deep, that um, YouTube posting. I was, you know, I'm going to put a link into that post uh, to give the guy some credit. Um, but the, uh, well, let's put it this way. Let me start off with what the YouTube thing was saying. There's, there, he was, he was uh, doing uh, five countries that are indebted to, to China now, right? Um, um, and number five down to number one. Number five was was the Republic of Kenya. They're like 7.5 billion in debt to China, you know, for infrastructure and all the rest of that stuff. Because you know, China has this policy, but they don't they don't really mess with your politics or anything in your in your country. You know, when we do audio drama, you know, we only have two rules: that you, you're not supposed to curse, no cursing, and you can't do anything against the constitution of the country that you're going to. That's it. That's the only two rules. Everything else is, you know, can be debated. Uh, so uh, Kenya's number five, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. Next, uh, they they owed uh, 12.7 uh, billion. Um, like these are dollars to um, uh, China. to China. And the Maldives owes 2.5 uh, billion. I think it's 2.5. Uh, Madagascar owes. I didn't get the figure on that. Uh, Djibouti owes 4.5 uh, billion. Uh, billion billion dollars. Interesting, Djibouti. Uh, before Barack Obama came into office, Djibouti had one American, um, what do you call that, uh, military base, military base in all of Africa. Now it has a bunch of military presses all around. But with this, with, with with China now in Djibouti, which means they can have a military base. They have it there. 
They have it there already. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's right. They have a they have a mil mil military base in Djibouti. Now Djibouti, just for people who don't know, because you know, I'm talking to a worldwide audience. You know, you you have the uh, you have Africa. Oh, I should put the maps up here. I'm gonna start putting my maps up and stuff like that. Yeah, put it on there, something like that. But you know, they call a horn of Africa. We're in we're in Southern Africa here right now. And then Africa goes like that. Then it's like a horn right there. Djibouti is right below Ethiopia, uh, uh, basically, and 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 uh, below. Yeah, it's close to Ethiopia. Whatever, and um, the interesting story about Djibouti. Now, Djibouti speaks French. Okay, it's a small country. It's very small. But here's the way the story goes. Very, very interesting story. On the west side of Africa, you have the Gambi, Gambia. Gambia. They speak English. Now, all the countries around Gambia speak uh, speak French. French. All the countries around Djibouti speak English because mm -hmm. of the colonization. But what happened, as so the story goes, is basically the French made a deal with the English, say, hey, look, we need a port presence on, you know, the, the English said, we need a port presence on the west side of Africa. And the mm -hmm. French said, oh, well, we need a port presence on the east side of Africa. So they basically switched up Switch <laughs> <laughs> for the port. You understand? Very interesting. But, uh, but what is even something like Kenya, you know, uh, Again, that's a, these countries are, have, have, have ports. So when China wants to move its goods, it will come, you know, to those ports. And right here, you have it in, in, in South Africa. You know, they have some deal with the Chinese government or whatever have you, where they can come into the ports. They, they, they buy their own trucks now. It's their ships that come in. They get their own trucks. trucks. Those trucks go to distribution points, like here would be uh, East London would be the closest one, even closest, though they used yeah. to. Yeah, so that they'll go from from uh, the port, they'll come in probably would be Port Elizabeth. Yeah. Then they'll put them on the trucks and go and put a distribution point in East London and all the little villages around from, you know, uh, King Using Williamstown, where, where it's famous for um, uh, for Steve Biko, uh, up here to, to Alice, you know, all, all the way up. Those those little Chinese shops that in every community will get those goods. Remember, the Chinese own the shipping line, they own their own, they own trucks. The trucks. And here's a trick people don't understand. We have a lot of Ethi um, Ethiopian, um, uh, Pakistanis, have mm -hmm. they call it Pakistani shops, and you have Chinese shops. Mm -hmm. Well, people don't understand. Even the Pakistanis don't have ships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the Pakistanis get their stuff from China. So even if you buy your stuff from a Pakistani shop, you still come from China. China. If you go to China, it's going to come from China. Now this is very interesting too, because remember, all these Chinese shops all over the world, this China has presence in almost every country of the world. You know, you see what I'm saying? Now one of the things I tell you about, uh, uh, I know, like when I was in India, for instance, they mistake them. They thought, some people thought I was from Sri Lanka, which is right across the, the you know, Bengal, Bangle Bay, Bangle Sea, whatever it is. Um, but what's interesting is that China, uh, um, Sri Lanka just had to give up a port to China. Oh. But also, they can now have a military, they can do anything they want with that port. They can have a military base. In military there. So all these countries that are being taken over into debt when they give something up, where the rail line, national, if you want to nationalize something, hey, but they own the rail line so you effectively can't nationalize the airline, the, the, the rail line, because it, it belongs to China. To China. Oh. And so all the, all the, all the, all the, um, the profits, whatever you want to call it, income from the rail lines will go to China. China. They did this, this happened, this happened in England. England doesn't own, I think it's their postal system or their rails, whatever. It is. Mm -hmm. All that stuff goes to, goes to like, I think Germany or something like that. Oh. So you have these countries that are no longer in charge of their own infrastructure. Very, 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 very interesting. So now, it, yeah. it seems like South Africa, they, we, must, like, we must be busy with planting our lands. Well, the problem really is, mm -hmm. you know, it's with your leadership. Look, yeah. what, what got me on this thing is because mm -hmm. what people understand, the first, the, these are five countries in debt, mm -hmm. but one that has been acting on it was not one of these countries, it was Zambia. Now, mm -hmm. I've been to Zambia. I like Zambia. I love oh. Zambia. Mm -hmm. Right? But now Zambia, Zambia is so far into debt to China that now China, I think they're taking over the electricity grid. Oh. So all the profits, from if they charge whatever they want, it, again, the money will go back to China. So no ESCOM there? No, but no ESCOM is the, 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 the ESCOM is our electrical company yeah. here, I think. Like in New York, we have a thing called Con Ed. Yeah. Everything has their own thing. I forgot what the mm -hmm. Zambia thing is, the name is. But the point really is like i've been to zambia here's what they do here's what the chinese do here's how they do it they study a country 
But then, then, when I say study a country, they're not just studying what the country looks like. They're also studying the character of the of the, the people, of the people, the character of the leaders of that country. Mm. So what is effectively has happened is they look and they say, "Who's a corrupt country? Who's this? Who's that?" Now I'm gonna tell you a little story because I've been to, like I said, I love Zambia. I've been to Zambia. They have a lot of waterfalls and stuff like that. Mm. And you know that means they'll make dams, hydroelectric. I won't get into that point. But the but the thing is this. When I was in Zambia, what was, it, what was interesting to me, and I was in this area, well, it doesn't matter. What was interesting to me is that I was hanging out with this guy that was actually a minister of Zambia. When I was hanging out, I met him there. We were just hanging out with him. But he had a mistress. Mm -hmm. Okay? And here's what I'm trying to say. Everybody talks about the corruption as far as money, 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 money. But we don't, but people understand, this goes, it goes beyond money because if you have a mistress, you got to, or two or three or whatever you got, you got to take care of them too which means somebody has something over you, mm -hmm. you know? So it's not just the money corruption, but it's the, the moral corruption, let's put it that way. I don't, know, I don't know what else to put it. So you have these situations where you have somebody, that they have to support people beyond, you know, in their little yeah. thing, but they also have uh, doing things that can they the be famous. called out, or that's mm -hmm. right, exactly. So it's a, it's a weird, not a weird, but it's a situation where if, Afri if we don't have um, morals and principle, principle, I could call it principle. If you have a principle, then you're going to, then, then people like the, then you know when the Chinese work, with the way they work, you say, well, we made a deal. You know what I mean? You could have did anything you want. We, you didn't have to accept our deal. You yeah, know, those so it's people, not You see, as, as I said, Chinese are principle. They are principle. Because you see, if they have one wife, they will stick with that. Mm. They are not snooping around having some side chicks like here in South Africa and other countries and here in Africa. But you see, we always follow the, these nice words, side mm. chick, and we enjoy them mm. after they haunt us back. Because you see, most of the people who are there have statured, mm. they have a lot of side chicks because they want that thing. Oh, I've got a side thing. Oh, I see. It's, it's like a, a stature thing. It's yes, like it's a side chick. You, you're more of a big man like yeah, that. Yeah, you, you must have a side chick. Well, you know, well, uh, greediness, mm -hmm. uh, 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 what do you call that? Um, uh, 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 graph, graph, corruption, you know, a woman, all this stuff is all into the, and you're right, mm -hmm. they, people need to be more principled. So anyway, that's it for now. I still haven't got a, a hook that I want to say at the mm -hmm. end, uh, so I don't know what to say other than that's it. Sus, out.